everybody, it's Pat Love from EXP Realty. I'm here today with Sheila Hamilton. Sheila Hamilton has Movement Garden, or Sheila Hamilton Movement Garden. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Sheila, for taking some time out of your day. I can't wait to hear more about your business and your new adaptations. So uh, let's get to it. And why don't you tell us a bit about your business? Well, thank you very much for having me uh, with this, on this interview with you. It's my pleasure. Uh, since the start of uh, last fall, the pandemic, my business shifted to a virtual platform. I'm a personal trainer, and my background prior to that was as a registered nurse. So I take a lot of my medical kind of background and my passion for fitness knowledge to uh, my work, and I've created an online business, which is called the Movement Garden. I'm offering private training sessions and group classes on a, for a bunch of different levels, and I really, uh, underlying it all, I want to change the way people age. So that's my kind of key point, is there's, there's cer certain things that we can do for our bodies, and movement is kind of like medicine, and uh, we just need to learn how to move even if we're in pain and it will have a positive outcome for us all. So that's what I'm about. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's great. Um, you were talking earlier when we were doing our, our pre-chat about um, something you're offering that's a sponsored sort of get back to basics situation. So could you share a bit about that? Absolutely, thank you for asking. So the back to basics was an idea that I had in January where I removed the cost barrier Could I could just offer something that I know people need if they have some questions about maybe their back, how do you exercise safely? Have you ever hurt yourself when you're moving because you're not sure if you're squatting properly or what's a neutral back or they don't do an exercise because their shoulder hurts when they you know move it around. So stripping away to the back to basics, uh, it's a program that's a four week consecutive program. It's myself and my colleague, Lindsay Wrightson, we teach it together. So on the Zoom platform, somebody can be demonstrating and someone can also be looking at the participants. And it's a complimentary program. And after the first month, we had such great success that Dr. Olson from Edgemont Chiropractic, uh, he had three of his patients take it and he offered to sponsor uh, the same class for February. So then I was able to offer his class and my own class. So we have two complimentary classes and we've just been growing this program with there's no um, pressure to continue. In fact, by the end of the four weeks, you get a, a take home program that's pretty comprehensive. You could just kind of run with that in your home environment because of the pandemic and the restrictions and the uncertainty of you know how it feels, the client confidence, I guess, to return to the gym uh, environment. I feel like it's an important piece. We don't wanna miss um, movement. And, and this Back to Basics program, it's been a lot of fun to, to coach. I, I really do feel like we're helping people. And in fact, I have quite a few testimonials, I believe, on my website from people that took it in the first few months. So if, it, if, it, if it's of interest to anyone, please go there and have a look at the testimonials. Well, that's wonderful. That's, that's a great thing, getting people started, you know, without any, any financial risk to them, which is, is great. And getting people off the couch during a pandemic, that's for certain that... Uh... <laughs> Well, I think there's what the COVID-19 they're calling it, all the pounds people have gained. And and all just like the, the sort of cascade of things that happen when you're not moving well, you don't realize that it's sort of affecting your choices that you might make for, for nutrition or it might be affecting your sleep. And, you know, even just a little bit of improvement in any of those kinds of levels can have a pretty profound effect on your overall long-term health. And so when I coach people to try and make changes like that, I'm always looking at things that are realistic and sort of scalable. So the mm -hmm. Back to Basics program doesn't take very much time. In fact, you could do the one round of it in about 10 or 15 minutes. So that's not asking a lot. And that, that could really have a profound impact. If you think about 10 minutes a day, that's over an hour a week that you weren't um, working your muscles and aligning your posture and working on your core strength that than the previous week so well yeah. that's 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 great to have something available like that now your classes your other classes you're not back back to basics how how frequently do they run and um i guess are they flexible times are they morning classes afternoon classes evening classes what sort of yeah. things do you well, have, off, have to offer 
there, there's a, a whole variety of, of levels and we try to make a lot of the classes all levels so that it doesn't preclude the time doesn't preclude the person from coming to that. But to answer your question, we're sort of running Monday to Saturday at different times through the day, everything from uh, body weight strength training classes to just stretch and core to kettlebell classes and to strength training classes. So, you know, there's lots of variety for clients to come in and try uh, different classes. We always offer a complimentary class uh, in the beginning. So, and it takes a little while to find what works for you and what works for um, in your schedule and just what you enjoy, right? But I think mm -hmm. one of the things with that I've learned anyways over the last six months or so is that the live classes, they're different than buying an exercise video or something that you're just watching yourself. And it's upon me to um, put value into the classes. So I'm, I'm really into my reading and my writing. I'm trying to write a blog every month, trying to share the information that I can kind of, uh, I love learning. So with the clients during the classes, that's sort of a value added and keep people accountable to more than just movement. Um, in fact, I'm very big on um, plant diversity and getting clients to eat more of more variety of plants and including fruits, vegetables, and nuts and seeds. I'm getting a little practice here right now with you, Pat, but, um, you know, just in adding a few uh, plants into your nutrition profile that you didn't eat last week can actually help your gut, uh, micro, your gut health a lot. And uh, so when we're looking at small things, small changes that are sustainable long-term that are going to help our, um, your overall health and make you more resistant to disease. A stronger gut health uh, has been now proven to be a way to do that. And, and you know, it's really quite simple when you start thinking about adding something into your nutrition profile instead of going on a restrictive diet or saying that that's a bad food or anything like that. So I try and keep it a little bit more positive. Yeah, no, that sounds, oh, it sounds like a very well-rounded approach you're, you're offering there. I, I think right. I went on a big tangent from your question about the classes, but anyway, so hopefully that's okay. That's, that's what we're here, we're here to hear about your business. And so I'm going to shift us a little over to supporting local and talking about North Vancouver and you're a resident here. So um Perhaps you'd like to share um, businesses that you're supporting that you've uh, found uh, a nice uh, experience in or restaurants you've been going to, well, not going to, getting takeout from, that sort of thing, because we're all about supporting each other right now. So is there anything you'd like to share there? Well, absolutely. You know, um, I feel that, uh, I don't know whether this will be in your written portion, but my business closed as a result of the pandemic. So um, there's definitely been a pivot and a heartfelt kind of like, well, what can I do for other businesses as well as um, trying to create a, a, a life, a life, a bus uh, an income, I suppose, for myself. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, I have been looking at uh, shopping local. In fact, these glasses are from a new uh, eyewear store, Ollie Quinn, up uh, from where I live. I live in Lower Lonsdale and I've been selectively ordering food in from places like uh, Coliseum Pizza, for example, and um, Palki. I'm just trying to do my bit. I haven't personally been going out to a lot of restaurants, uh, but uh, not that I won't when things pick up again. I'm, I'm really feeling for the business owners and, uh, and it's, changed, it's changed a lot. The pandemic has changed my life profoundly. So I'm still in a bit of a, uh, a, a mode of trying to figure it out. But I think that was I mean, I love the area that we live in and I'm, I'm just super supportive of, of anything local. I don't own a car, so I walk uh, and support a lot of the local Lonsdale Strip. Mm -hmm. uh, what was I gonna say? I think the Back to Basics uh, class that I was offering for no charge is part of uh, my way of saying I'm thankful for the support that I've received from not only my clients, but uh, just, just people reaching out, um, knowing that losing a business at this time was well, even you are doing this with for me. It's really um, appreciated. So thank you. Well, of course, uh, my pleasure. So uh, one last thing. Why don't you tell me what you do for fun in North Vancouver? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, my, my outdoor fun is hiking and snowshoeing, which I've been fortunate to be able to do a little bit this through this pandemic. Um, because I'm sort of an exercise fitness guru, I tend to always want to get out into the mountains and do walking and hiking. I've walked a lot more since the pandemic. I love to travel, but I haven't been 
uh, able to do that as along with with everybody else. But uh, to pivot to what I really like to do for fun is uh, I've been I, I'm a kettlebell enthusiast, and so I love practicing my kettlebell moves. It's kind of like yoga with weights, and uh, so I've been practicing my uh, kettlebell um, skills a lot through the pandemic and I feel like I've really grown in my practice and I can't wait to for things to open up so I can uh, travel and share that and go and learn and go to more kettlebell certifications that's just it's just part of me it makes me happy so that's what I've been focusing on <laughs> that's good so you you work for fun <laughs> that's okay I I can get it I I appreciate that kind of concept well, great. So thank you, Sheila. You're um, welcome. It's great to hear about your business and I'm happy to get the word out and uh, we'll... Can I say one more thing about changing the way we age? Sure, sure. I, I remember that I wanted to share that with you because oh, yes. Uh, yes. I do really feel that um, some a small amount of movement can change the way that you age. And typically um, my parents' generation had trouble with balance and falling and unfortunately, you know, hip fractures. And I, uh, I feel that just a small amount of movement every day could really have an impact on people. And then it's not just the older folks. So you see younger folks that are having postural issues and kids because of the environment changing with the computers and cell phones and things like that. So I feel like a small <laughs> amount of the texting, gaming, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But we have to find a way to integrate a small amount of movement to make change. So it's back to that sort of if you could just learn about 10 minutes of something to do every day that will have a, a, a real um, impact on your posture and not and your balance and just not go down the path that we typically have. So I really hope and ask people to reach out for that kind of help because you can do that and make um, make your life quality of life uh, better as you as you go into your last few decades of life. Yes, for sure. And that's very important. I know I, uh, I spend a lot of time around seniors. So I, I can share this. Uh, when I've worked with seniors, and I sort of asked the asked some of them, so what are you doing this weekend? And I can tell by the look of them, the shape they're in, the ones that say, Oh, I'm not doing anything because my daughter is out of town. And then you have the other one that says, oh, I'm doing this, this, and this, and this. And the difference in that person, they can be the same age, but it will seem like 15 years difference. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, I think it is important what you're saying for sure. You know, I mean, it's basically when people stop participating, that's when it just ends. Right. And it, it's very, it's a great idea you have sharing that. I, I love it. Well, thank you. And I think that that's a, a, an interesting observation and in, in how two people can really uh, look at the, their same age and have their situations completely different. Uh, never losing the ability to get up and down from the floor is a really important piece of ac active aging. And if you could start doing that in your 50s, or your 60s. And um, that, that's just something I teach a lot of uh, different methods of getting up and down from the floor. And you can do it once a day, that takes one minute to practice, then for the rest of your life, you'll never lose that ability. So you can see that just like habits like brushing our teeth that become part of our lifestyle, we haven't made movement habits part of our lifestyle. And so I'm hoping that we can find um, short things that people can interject and, and make these profound changes for themselves. Well, I'm glad you inter interjected with that because I, I I apologize. I was supposed to uh, check with you on that one, and it was <laughs> okay. probably the best part, the best, <laughs> the best, best information you shared. So there you go. So well, thank you, Sheila. Thank you. I, I really I appreciate, appreciate it. your time. And, and uh, hope to see you in a back to basics class soon. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll talk about that after I, I stop recording. <laughs> Thank you.